world It's so unkind One day you're king The next you're Good morning everyone Welcome back My sweet angels I thought I would do a little up Whoa Okay, welcome back I've missed you I know I've taken like a nice little break which is how I know I'm like, oh, I really missed filming, but I'm feeling refreshed. I got back from Portugal and I was supposed to spend time in New York, but I was just like feeling not great as I was leaving Portugal. I was like definitely feeling like a little run down and made a little game time decision to just go all the way through and come back to LA, which was good intuition, good listening to my body because I was home for like a day feeling okay and then immediately like got very ill. Not COVID, not the flu, not strep. I went and got tested. I tested COVID at home a million times and it wasn't. But at this point I've been sick for almost like two weeks. This week has been getting progressively better. I booked a massage and a cupping session, which I'm really excited for. So I'm gonna go to that in like an hour. And then I might go meet a friend and then I have some plans later tonight. Um, and I'm really itching to like see people and hang out with people. I've actually been like getting a little bit lonely. It feels good to be back home. I'm so excited to be in like LA summer mode um, because I haven't experienced LA in the summer yet. So. That feels really exciting and excited to be feeling better. It's always just like the best feeling coming back into having health when you have been sick for a while. It's always a humbling experience of a reminder that health is really all you have. It's a lesson I've learned many times over, but. stock of paints today I'm so excited I was really running low on colors um, and I got some board I feel like rearranging my living room, so I'm going to. I think I want to try moving the couch against this wall and then having the chairs out here to just like kind of open it up. I just want to see what it'll look like. Everyone who comes in here tells me I should do that, but I didn't for the value of having a wall to put a projector on, but I feel like I can figure something out. mattress came I'm so excited it's from Birch I've never had like I'm calling this a big girl mattress like a nice mattress but I'm thinking I'm gonna be in LA for a while so a good time to have a really nice mattress for my sleep so very excited to open these boxes I have some pillows I got the mattress topper um, yeah so big thank you to Birch for sponsoring 
today's video. I, uh, yeah, I definitely spend a lot of time in bed, probably more than the average person. It means a lot to me to have a comfortable bed when my friends come over and they compliment something about my bed. It makes my heart sing. So to have a little upgrade on it is very exciting for me. Birch is a really cool company and they take it so seriously about creating beds that are made with really good materials. You spend so much time in bed and so close to the materials that your bed is made out of. They use organic latex, New Zealand wool, American steel springs, and organic cotton. Hey man, Ugh, what are they good for? I deserve a man to Yes, very high quality materials that are heavy. So get someone to help you move it if you need to, but I got it upstairs. That's all that matters. Yeah, they're GOTS certified, Ocotex certified, Eco Institute certified, Green Guard Gold certified, and each of their mattresses come with their Eco Rest pillows that are made from recycled plastic bottles. They're really breathable, better for the environment. And yeah, it's really nice knowing that I'm not literally sleeping in chemicals from my mattress every night. That is a pretty big deal. They're organic, natural, and 100% non-toxic. I am obsessed, but you can have a 100-night sleep trial if you want to try them out. And there's also a 10-year warranty. So it'll last for you. And yeah, that's more than three months to make sure that you like it. And if you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you get a full refund. The mattress is delivered right to your door. It's free within the US. I opted to put a topper on top because I just prefer to have my bed to be soft, like definitely on the softer side. I like like a medium soft. But even when I laid on it without the mattress topper, it had a nice firmness, but not so firm that there was a good squish to it, almost to a point that I I was surprised because I always am a mattress topper kind of person. So I could see how just the mattress would actually be probably pleasant to a lot of different mattress, a lot of different ways of liking your mattress. Seriously, so squishy yet firm like I've never felt a mattress like this I just like I didn't even know what to expect because I feel like I've just never seen a nice mattress it does have to like inflate because it's been all wrapped up but so nice so far it's been so comfy if you want to use my code where I live you can get $200 off your mattress and your two free pillows. So click my link below. balled the F out. They did buy a pot and a big tree, which can be expensive. Egyptian made pots though. Aren't these so freaking beautiful? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I got three of these. Works on this pot that I think it will. Oh my god, no it doesn't. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna put these on my wall. Like this. These look like they'll grow, kind of hang down. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Three of these. I grab two little pothos to fill up two little pots that I got at the thrift store. A cactus, which is an Euphobia to Tirocali fire sticks. Classic looking Euphorobia. Trigonia. Got this little mid size plant. I should know the name of this. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm gonna have to get the app that scans them and tells me how to take care of them. But this should fit in here if I judged right. It does. That'll look good. Then I've been wanting a hanging pot plant for my living room. And I love this, an orchid cactus, a rickrack orchid cactus. I will not kill it, I hope. 
And then I've really been wanting another pretty name. I'm so bad with plant names. I'm really bad with any names. Even the name Jessica. I might forget it. But <laughs> plant names are even harder. Back in New York, I had that massive one of these that was so big and so beautiful. And I saw this. It was 60 bucks, which isn't crazy. Um, and it will grow. I'm sure the other one grew really fast. So I'm going to put that in my room because it reminds me of my old home. Big haul, but I'm very excited. I've been wanting to spruce up my apartment with, um, I needed more plants. I didn't have enough. So now I have a lot. <laughs> I'm excited though. Okay, we're back to messing with this bed frame. I feel like my moving blocks always just is me putting together this bed frame and it can be so annoying. Also, update on the birch mattress so far. It is so nice, like so comfortable. The topper is so soft. I've been sleeping so well. I'm not even just saying that, like my expectations have been exceeded. I feel like I kind of want to try this and just see how it feels. I want to take like the little feet off of the frame and just have like the wood slat as a base. Finally going to plaster this table. I'm very excited. I think I've been nervous to do it, so I've just been like putting it off for months. I found this table on Facebook Marketplace like probably like three months ago. I think it was like it must have been like 30 bucks or something because it already had like Sharpie drawings on it. I've been painting on it just directly on it because I've known that I'm gonna plaster it. I'm really excited. I'm gonna put a mix of like shells and try to make like a design or something I think on top of it um, which I've also been nervous to do just because I don't want to mess it up but there is no time like the present. I'll link the tutorial that I'm using that because I've never done this before but I bought plaster a while ago and basically I'm just going to start by putting this drywall tape around all of it, I think. And then I'm gonna have to take it outside, obviously, to plaster it because I'm not going to do that inside of my house. Um, so yes, very excited. Okay, I'm kind of winging this, but the legs are open, but I'm gonna tape around them so it's more of like a chunk because I think that will look better. I don't know how I would just plaster the thing. Um, so I'm gonna tape around. I wish I had duct tape, but I don't. I feel like that would look better, but I'm just gonna tape and then I'm going to, maybe I should go get duct tape. I'm gonna try this, see how it goes.
I'm finally pretty much done with the table. It came out a lot chunkier than I thought it would. The plaster is pretty hard to work with. It dries really fast and I didn't have much space. And yeah, I like the way it looks personally, but I think the tutorial looked much smoother and the person who made the tutorial wanted theirs to be much smoother. I kind of like the chunky look because I made it a little bit odd looking anyways. So yeah, I just have to put like the polyethylene coat on top and then I think it's finished, but I put my little layout on top. Hopefully everything gets stuck in there all right and I think it'll be good. I'm excited that it's finally done um, and yeah, so exciting. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. I'm happy to be back on YouTube. And yeah, definitely check out Birch if you're interested. Um, I'll have that link. Yeah. I'll see you all so soon in the next one. <laughs>